Hello, my name is Evan from Renegy's User Experience Department and today we're going to talk about inverters. This is the inverters display screen and this is the information input screen. This is where the error code display is and here is the output information. You can see the output voltage, current, power and output frequency. This is the AC input. The dotted line indicates that the load is powered by the mains. The dotted line indicates that the mains is charging the battery. This line indicates that the battery is discharging and being inverted into alternating current. This is the load usage recommendation. If there is a problem with your inverter, you will need to retrieve some information from the setting interface and then contact our technical support team. Long press the enter key and after entering the setting inter interface, you can press the up and down keys to turn the page. When you reach the setting you want, press the enter key to set it. Then choose a function and set that with the enter key as well. Uh, once the function has been chosen, press enter to confirm and return to the original interface. Next we'll talk about a couple of modes that can be a little bit tricky the Utility Priority Mode and the Inverter Priority Mode. In the Utility Priority Mode, when the load is connected, priority will be given to the mains power to supply the load. In addition to meeting the load demand, the mains power will also charge the battery. You can see these two lines in this mode. When the mains power cuts out, the inverter will ring and switch the battery power supply. The utility priority mode has a maximum bypass power limit. For example, the maximum bypass circuit for a 3000 watt product is 30 amps. This information can be found in the manual. In the battery priority mode, even if the mains power is connected, the battery power will be used until the battery voltage is lower than this value. If there are no mains power connected, then the battery low voltage warning will show. So here, the battery is not connected. As you can see, the shore power is connected. However, we have no power going into the inverter. So connecting shore power to the inverter without the battery is not enough for it to turn on. As you can see, it won't turn on. So if we have shore power connected and we then connect the battery, it doesn't matter what state the inverter is in, whether it's turned on or off, the screen will show up. However, the system won't actually work unless you turn the inverter on. Thank you for watching and again please don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any difficulties.